Positive reinforcement is the addition of something attractive to increase a behaviour. For example, the horse lifts his leg and we give him food immediately. The problem is, we've got to be immediate to deliver the food. So another way of doing this would be that if we gave him a signal, such as good boy, or a clicker, or something else that was reliable and regular, that came just before the food, it would then herald the onset of food. Now we can use positive reinforcement in all sorts of ways. It doesn't have to necessarily be food. It could also be scratching at the base of the wither because we know that that lowers heart rate by at least 10 beats a minute. That's been well published. And we also know that so many training philosophies for the last 400 years have been heavily based in positive reinforcement using praise and uh, stroking the horse. So that works very well. So what we've got to think of though is that when we're training horses in hand and under saddle is that it's basically based on negative reinforcement because we use our reins and legs and any use of the reins and legs in terms of pressure and release, even the lightest touch, is some amount of negative reinforcement. So our positive reinforcement is there to amplify our negative reinforcement, our use of pressure release. So the way we would use positive reinforcement, for example, a very convenient way would be if he gives the correct response from any kind of uh, tactile pressure, we would say, good boy, the instant he does it, and then give him a scratch or give him food or whatever else we want to do with the horse uh, in terms of a, a primary reinforcer. So that's the important thing, is to recognise the timing of it and also the fact that we'll be uh, recognising that our basic training is through negative reinforcement, the use of pressure release, and we'll be amplifying it with positive reinforcement.